Okay. So I know this is Lambda, but my trilogy is about teen pregnancy, and one of the characters ended up straight. So this is the one that's most polished, you said yeah. As soon as I walk in, my cheek gets passed from tia to tia, beso to beso, all of them twirling me around in my sexy cutout dress. Yesenia, mira que bonita. Ay, mija, que chula. I love all their usual fuss over me till Dulce, my mom and birthday girl, walks in introducing the latest love of her life, Arturo, and all the tias huddle around him. One of them eyes his socks stretched up mid-calf, old school cholo style, and raises a brow. And my tia Valeria squints at his mouth like she's checking for all his teeth. <laughs> I step back, butted out of the circle. I don't care. I'm on a high anyway after what happened last Wednesday between me and Ivan. Damn, Ivan. I can't get this nerdy prieto out of my head. I don't ever crush on guys like him. Old and moody, freakishly tall, married. I smell food. <laughs> I smell food. I'm starving. I'm about to go to the kitchen, but I don't move because I suddenly spot in the corner of the sala my baby's, my grandma's rocking chair. I still remember my young Spanglish mind thinking that because she was a great grandmother, she was a great grandmother, my bisabuela. <laughs> babies, babies, I followed her all over the house, my cousin and baby Melly in tow. All the cousins had an abuela, but there was only one babies, and for the first seven years she was alive for me, she was mine, and more of a mother to me than Dulce's ever been. My tia Mireya, the matriarch, who stayed in Kajiki's house, walks into the sala suddenly, holding Vanessa. Hola, mija. Will you get your mommy for her birthday? I don't give a shit, I want to say, because it's the truth. <laughs> I just shrug. Me and Dulce don't really celebrate birthdays, especially since she forgets mine every year. Tu mamá, she corrects, like she always does. And I'm sure she don't forget, she just teasing. Oh no, she forgot, she told me so. Always does. <laughs> Thea looks at me, long, hard, and judgy. She's got this way of looking at me without ever really looking in my eyes, like Dulce. Same look now as it was then. A week after Bibi's died, she sent me back home with Dulce faster than you could say, I already got four kids and don't need another. But years later, when her daughter Melly got pregnant, she didn't have no problem raising Vanessa as her own. La Vanessa is family, she told the Diaz. And family doesn't let family give each other up. But that was bullshit, because, I mean, isn't that what she did to me? Give me up? My stomach growls, and Thea does her look without looking at me. What's in my eyes that she and Dulce can't ever bear to see? I come in la cocina, she says. There's food in the kitchen. It's all she can offer me after all these years, and I'm so hungry. I'll take it. Just as I'm about to be like to the kitchen and stuff my face with food so Melly can ask me no 20 questions, she beats me and is standing right in front of me. What's with the glow? What glow? You know what glow. I giggle, thinking of Ivan. It's a one full, isn't it? You've been seeing who on the low, haven't you? It's who's seeing who on the low, my tia Valeria asks, letting herself in. Please, you gotta give me some kind of cheese, man. My sisters are over there comparing table runners. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's official, I shrug. Just playing hard to get with the gorgeous boy, Thea. Mm, good girl, keep that boy chasing you. That's the way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Melly pulls a cigarette out and, and gives me her pissy eyes. I swear, I don't know who's a younger cousin between us sometimes. We ain't finished here. A minute later, when the doorbell rings, we all look around. None of us ever ring Thea's bell. We just barge in. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm tripping when Mireya first opens the door, but he's really there. Ivan, standing at the door with Agustina on his arm. Ma, you made it, Arturo shouts. He introduces his mom to us, wow, bringing the mom's way to score brownie points with the fam, and Ivan as friend of the family. He's an immigration lawyer too, if anyone needs papers, he cracks. No one laughs, so he turns and offers Ivan a beer, but he says he can't stay. If you don't mind, I'll just get Agustina something to drink before I go. He heads to the kitchen, giving me a quick glance that goes unnoticed to everyone but me in the room. I keep my same word stare, like my heart didn't just start poking in my chest like a frog. Mm-mm-mm, my tia Valeria clicks her tongue. Men in suits get me every time, especially on a Saturday. You know he means business. <laughs> I don't know, Thea. I play along. He looks so serious. Mija, she pats my arm before walking away. No woman wants a clown in bed. <laughs> I find Ivan in the kitchen and pretend to snack on a bowl of grapes as I whisper. I can't believe you're actually here. I've been having so many daydreams of you, I thought I was imagining at first. He drops ice cubes in the cup, not looking at me. 
can't stop thinking about us, about everything we talked about the other day. I wait for him to see me, to tell me how sexy my dress is, but he still ignored me. He's so tall, I'm not even sure if he could hear me up there. <laughs> Ivan, why are you acting like this for? Did last Wednesday not mean shit to you? He checks that no one's around, then tilts my chin up at him. Yesenia, I have thought about you every second of the day. I imagine him fitting scenes of us together like I've been doing nonstop. Us splashing in waves at the beach. Us curled up on the couch watching one of those Fast and Furious movies. <laughs> us <laughs> no, making love in a bed that's ours. Not at some no-tell motel. I'm a classy bitch. Not <laughs> <laughs> just me for cake. I'm not a party crasher. Can I go with you then? He looks around nervously. Meet me outside in five minutes. My car's on the corner. I marry you two steps outside when Melanie yanks my arm and nearly breaks me with her damn cigarette. Going somewhere? Thought you'd be starving by now. Can we talk about this later? I could try to make a run for it, but Melly's faster and stronger than me in every way possible. Always has been. Sanya, what are you doing with this guy? Come on, Mel, he ain't a bad cat, I swear it. No offense, but he don't really seem like your type or nothing. That's the beauty of it, because really he is. I just feel safe with him. She takes her time between grads. You know what happened to you before will never happen again. I roll my eyes, mostly so they won't tear up. Melly's always trying to crack me open like an egg, and I'm just always trying to stay whole. Isn't the shell of me pretty and perfect enough? Isn't it obvious what you're doing, Sonia? You're acting just like your mom, falling for a guy you know's not good for you. Don't compare me to Dulce. If anything, you're the one who's like her, giving your baby for your mom to raise. At least Beatty's was honest about it. Melly blinks at me. That was love. You know, I wanted to give Vanessa up for adoption, and my mom wouldn't let me. I sigh. I know I'm being a total asshole. Hey, I'm sorry. I ain't trying to judge you just because I wouldn't do the same. I know you love Vanessa enough to do the right thing for both of you. Whatever. It's your life, Senya. Do what you want. She stumps out her cigarette and walks back to the house, just as Ivan's car drives off. Damn it. Melly hides in a room the rest of the day while Dulce drinks too many blood lights and starts twerking on the patio. <laughs> All the other cousins put their phones out because you know they're putting that shit on Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the men come out grumbling after the Dodgers lose again. Cake is cut, everyone sings happy birthday to Dulce. The Thea's following with the Manyamitas while the younger ones stare curiously up at them. And all the while, I sit alone in the corner, hoping Melly comes back, but she doesn't. The sun sets and I stare at the light glowing in our bedroom window and start to shiver. Thank you. <laughs>